Hello, this is a gross specimen showing the calvarium of the skull and we're looking at the inferior surface. And of course, this is the superior surface. We can appreciate that there are several very well demarcated brownish lesions, some of which occupy the full thickness of the skull, as you can see here. Let's take a closer look. These lesions are quite irregular, but they are extremely sharply demarcated and they appear brownish. In the fresh specimen, they would appear uh, quite gelatinous and reddish brown. This is an example of multiple myeloma, which is a neoplasm of plasma cells involving the skull. So myeloma is a malignant plasma cell neoplasm and it can occur as multiple neoplasms. This is known as multiple myeloma. Less frequently, it can occur as a solitary mass known as solitary plasma cytoma. These neoplastic plasma cells, they produce monoclonal immunoglobulin-like chains and these can be detected in the blood and they can also be excreted in the urine. In the urine, they form what is known as Benz jones proteins in the kidney and this is actually quite toxic to the renal tubules. Hence, it can lead to renal failure. There can also be amyloidosis as a result of uh, the deposition of these abnormal proteins. And within the bone marrow, which is where most of these tumours are located, the neoplastic plasma cells secrete cytokines, which then promote the destruction of bone. This is why patients will present with bone pain as well as lytic bone lesions, and these can be seen on imaging. They're quite classical, especially involving the axial skeleton, particularly uh, the vertebral column. They also tend to involve the ribs, the skull, the pelvis, and in very advanced cases, they can be seen in soft tissues. There may also be resulting hypercalcemia. And because the bone marrow is replaced by these tumor cells, the other cell lines will be affected. So there can be anemia, leukopenia, and thrombocytopenia as a result. Here is an example of the microscopic features which show sheets of plasma cells. And in this particular case, the plasma cells are quite mature, so they very closely resemble normal plasma cells. Here is another example of a different case where you can actually see a greater degree of cytologic atypia. In some areas, these plasma cells have relatively large nuclei and prominent nucleoli, as you can see here, as well as here. So in summary, this is an example of a case of multiple myeloma, where we have these multiple punched out, well-demarcated brownish lesions involving the calvarium of the skull. 